Hey, this is Austin from Grow My Ads, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a complete breakdown of the Google Ads Auction Insight Report, everything you need to know. I'm gonna go step by step through each metric, what it means, and how it impacts your ad account. I'm also going to give you a real case study of a client of ours and how when the competitor spends more and we see that data in the Auction Insight Report, how it's actually impacting our account. So I'm gonna give you clear as day their auction insight report data and then the conversion data impact it has on the account. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so how to actually even get to the auction insight report. Now I am in the new interface. You may be in the older interface. It's going to be the same. It just is going to look different, but it will be named the same and in the same location as well. So I'm looking at all the campaigns. I'm gonna to go to the left side where their navigation's at. You go to insights and report and you hit auction insights. Now, the cool thing about auction insights is you can view this at sort of the account level. You can also go into specific campaigns. You can also go into specific ad groups as long as there's enough data. So you can really dive in to these individual campaigns or ad groups, especially if looking at all the campaigns doesn't make sense because you may have different competitors in different campaigns if you're bidding on different products or services within those campaigns. In this case for this client, actually the campaign level is just fine for us or the account level looking at the, uh, the entire thing. So I will have unfortunately most of this blocked out. It would give away too much information, but here's the auction insight report from this level. Again, this is at the account level. And this is for search campaigns only. You could also segment this down by shopping. For this client though, they're on search only. It's an online training program that they sell. Now, for the time frame that I'm sharing, I'm actually going to go to last month, which was January of 2024. You will see this impression share. That's the first metric you're going to see next to your display URL domain. So the display URL domain is just your competitor website names and then you will actually just show as you it doesn't show your website it just labels you as you but it gives you the websites of the competitors that are showing up in the ad auction same ad auctions that you're showing up for now impression share this gets kind of confusing but it's the number of impressions you receive divided by the estimated number of impressions you are eligible to receive so the percent here is just showing the higher percent you have, the more you're showing. Usually this is an indicator that they're spending a lot of money. So if you have a competitor who is spending or has a higher impression share than you, so in our, our case, we're only at a, a, about a 14% and our top competitor here is at a 35%. This is an indicator to us. They are spending probably significantly more on ad spend than, than we are. Um, now I'm gonna show you a real case study. This is the top competitor for us. Again, I can't give you their name, but this one, this competitor here who is number one, they are our top competitor. And the uh, ad metrics that you see in this account are highly influenced by what this competitor is doing. And so when I read this, I see that we are being pretty much outspent by a good portion of the competitors right now. And that's more than now a discussion on whether or not we would want to spend more money to compete more with these competitors. Now, in this case, we don't. We operate off of specific margin numbers. We know what those margin numbers are. We're hitting those margin numbers. And when competitors ramp up and it impacts our cost, we still have to operate within margin. So we know the, the current sort of competitive climate right now. And this gives us really that data of still what these top competitors are spending. If they stopped spending, we would actually then start seeing some of these numbers decrease. So with impression share, try not to get too in the weeds with it. Just think of it as, hey, if, if I have a competitor who is, has a much higher impression share than me, it probably means they're spending a lot more money than me. Okay, then there's overlap rate. So I am gonna kind of bring up the definitions for each of these, read them, and then I'll, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts. But overlap rate is how often another advertiser's ad received an impression in the same auction that your ad also received. This is good to know. It could mean 
that some of them may be bidding on other terms if they have low overlap rates with you. So even though they may overlap with you a percentage of the time, you may see, hey, I, I wonder why they don't overlap at a higher rate. Maybe they're actually bidding on some other terms and then you can do some better competitor analysis there. However, you can see our top competitor overlaps with us 70% of the time. So when we're in an ad auction, they're overlapping with us in that same ad auction almost 70% of the time. That is because this is a very niche industry. It's highly competitive. It's very much driven by price. And that competitor and us go neck to neck in uh, uh, competing. And so uh, their price is about what our price is. Their quality of the product's very similar to the quality of our product. And again, it's a training program. So the certification you get from that training program is going to be the same certification that you're basically going to be re receiving from them. And so this is not news to us, but they basically are over 70% of the keywords that we're in ad auctions for, they, they're also overlapping with us. And, and we know that. So we, we have our bullseye on them. Then you have position above rate. Position above rate is how often another advertiser's ad in the same auction shows in a higher position than your own when both of your ads show at the same time. So why is that important? Well, it's important because this also gives you an indicator of how often they're higher than you in the ad placements. Now, position above rate just means they were above you. It doesn't, you could be position five and they maybe were position four. So it doesn't indicate where they were at. It just means they were higher than you ad placement wise. And so it makes sense that a lot of our top competitors here who are have higher impression shares and are spending more, are actually above us then as well. Then you have top of page rate. So that does not mean position number one. Top of page rate just means they were above the organic listings. That could be mean Google showed four ads. It could mean Google only showed three. It just means they were in those top ad spots during that ad auction. In this case, 93% of the time, our top competitor was in the top ad spots. Again, this is indicating they're spending a lot and they're also dominating the ad placements because they're higher than us 75% of the time and then 90% of the time they're in the top ad spots. Then you have absolute top of page rate. That means position number one. And this is a, a really good indicator if someone's really spending a lot of money. You'll see almost 40% of the time, our top competitor is in position number one. So it's a, really two competitors here are, are trying to dominate that absolute top of page rate. Again, think of it as position number one. And so spending lots of money uh, in order to, for that to happen. All right, outranking share. So outranking share is, if I can get this thing to pull up, is how often your ad ranked higher in the auction than another advertiser's ad. Okay, normally when you see high top of page rate, absolute top of page rate, position above rate and overlap rates and impression shares from your competitors, your outranking share is generally going to be small. Now, if you were dominating, your outranking share would would be a higher percent. But in this case, because we are getting outspent and outbidded essentially, our outranking share is very low. So these correlate with what you're going to see. If these numbers are high, outranking share is generally going to be low. Okay, along with all of these metrics, you can also, as I showed, segment by search or shopping campaigns, but you can even go further. You can go into time, so you can see day of week, if there's any fluctuations, maybe some competitors go off on the weekends, giving you the opportunity to potentially, if you're not showing on the weekends, gives you the opportunity to possibly get those cheaper clicks during the weekends. I have seen that before. A lot of times you're not gonna see too, too much in this data, but every once in a while you'll find holes that competitors may not be advertising during certain days and you can tackle that. So this gives you day of the week, you can go day, week, month, quarter, or year, depending on the timeframes you're looking at. You can also, segment by device. Are you actually higher than them on certain devices than others? This doesn't, I don't look too deep into this. Uh, our device strategies usually are still just built off of a, a, a profit goal or our CPA or a ROAS. So as long as we're hitting that those ROAS or CPAs at that device level, that's really all I care about. I don't really care too much how we show on devices, but this is interesting. You may see certain competitors not be even showing on tablets or mobile. And so maybe that's why your performance on those devices might actually look 
better and surprise you? Well, it could be because one of the top competitors that you have on desktop might not even show on mobile. So that does happen. So it's data to review. I do not get too in the weeds with this. It could drive you crazy. But if you find some of those outliers, like why would mobile be better performing when our, when you would think your mobile performance isn't great on your uh, website, it really could come down to one of your competitors just isn't actually advertising on mobile devices. This is where you would find that information. Now, let me show you a real case study in this exact account I'm showing you on how this top competitor really impacts the performance of our account. And that's why we are actually reviewing the Auction Insight report data on a monthly basis, because these competitors at times make changes to their ad spend. And as soon as we start feeling that in the data, we're able to really tackle that. At the same time, if they increase, we know we're gonna our results are gonna start dropping. So it's something that we're monitoring on a monthly basis. It's hard to get like daily so if i go like yesterday it will start showing you some data but you know you can look at this at least at a weekly time frame sometimes daily is hard to read so i do like looking at at least a good portion of time but you will see some weekly fluctuations as well but usually we're looking at a lot of the monthly data uh, for that so this view is okay right this auction insight view i'm actually going to go into report editor and inside report editor pull a time series to give you this analysis. Okay, so I am in, at the, the main level of the account again, and I have pulled from January 2022 all the way to January 31st of 2024. The reason why, we've been competing with this competitor of ours for forever. So uh, I wanted to share with you this sort of time view of our performance. So you'll see conversions really ramped up, and right around April of 2023, we were kind of at peak and then we started decreasing. And then we had this jump up in August of 2023 and now we've been really down back to almost 2022 levels over the last several months here. Okay, so you've got like this, we grew up, we went down, we actually had a pop up and then now we're back to, to decreasing here. The red line is search top impression share. So you'll notice when we were higher in conversions, our ads were being shown in those top spots more often. Now that we've lost a lot of this top impression share, we're actually getting a decrease in conversions. That's 100% correlated to what I'm about to show you with the competitors, absolute impression share or top of page rate impression share and overlapping with us. So in this graph I have in the report editor, this is the, uh, this or, or sorry, purple line is just that top competitor of ours. I'm pulled the same time frame, January 1st of 2022 to 2023, and I have them pulled up, okay? So you can see position above rate is what I'm looking at, how often they overlap with us in the ad auction. So you'll notice January of 2023, they really dropped off. And if we go to our conversions, January of 2023, we popped. So as soon as they dropped ad spend, we really had a great month. Same with February was higher than usual, same with April. Well, come May, you see how their position above rate popped up, they started spending more again. So if we look at May and this graph, you notice we immediately start dropping down. And that means, okay, they're starting to, they're, they're starting to increase again. Now check this out. August, they dropped down again. So position above rate went down to about 60%. Well, look at our results on August. We popped up. So as they are getting aggressive with spend, we start decreasing. And we're not bidding again for any positions. This account is solely based on what's our margin and how do we make our make sure that we're hitting the 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 numbers with our ad cost to generate that margin we can't go below a certain margin number so that's what we operate this account off of and the clients well aware aware of obviously this competitor situation we're in so now you know we build strategies around how do we get around it but at the end of the day we have to operate at a net margin but when this competitor backs off because there are periods of time that they do back off, we immediately start getting more aggressive then. And that's why we're watching this Auction Insight report. We actually have scripts that are pulling this data so we can review Auction Insight report numbers and these time series here, graphs, 
So if we start seeing decreases, we start looking at the ad data and we might get a little more aggressive during that time period. Now, we will naturally see it in the ad metric data itself, like CPCs, uh, our search impression share will go up. Uh, usually conversions and conversion rates will start increasing as they drop off in the ad auctions. But we like to be on top of that before then. So if we start seeing it in that data and we start seeing it even in search results of our own testing, we may get aggressive sooner than waiting for just like a week or two's worth of data to show that, hey, actually we have increased now and our conversion rate's gone up. So we're all over it and we're using Auction Insight data every single day to be reviewing that. This is what I wanted to share with you though. Uh, I'm using position above rate because that gives us the cleanest view of the conversion ups and downs that we have based off of what they're doing. But you could look at other metrics. The problem is, you know, uh, it gets a, a little, not as easy to read. So if I look at, you know, outranking share, you can see similar movements. This is us outranking them, but it doesn't quite tell the, the story of that position above rate. So if there's one metric that I look at inside of the Auction Insight report, a lot of times it is that position above rate because if I have a competitor who has a high position above rate, that means they are very aggressive. They're spending a lot and they're always higher than us. And I always try to figure out, well, how is that? What are they advertising? What's their pricing, et cetera. Normally, if they're that high up and they're spending that much money, somehow it's working for them. But that to me is one of the best indicators to be looking at in regards to competitor data. Every, all these other metrics are great, especially if you see a competitor absolute top of page rank really increase. That means sometimes they're going for that like ego boost of trying to always be number one. I've seen that happen. And then after a while you see them drop off because they no longer uh, are profitable at, at number one. There you go. You are now a master of the Google ads auction insight report. I hope you got great value from this video. If you have questions, go ahead, put them in the comments below. I will make sure to try to answer those. Also, if you run a Google ads account, whether you're a business owner or a freelancer or work for an agency, doesn't matter. We have a free Google ads community called PPC Launchpad. The link to that community to join is in the description below of this video. I would love for you to join. There's a free performance max course in there. You can ask any questions you want about Google ads. I'm very active in trying to answer and provide value in that community along with some of the team members here at Grow My Ads. So would love for you to join. I would love for you to see, see you inside and, and uh, interacting with the group. If not, no worries. I'll see you on the next video.